Guilford Technical Community College is working to help end a nationwide truck shortage and help get people employed. Now, according to Labor Department data, the trucking industry now has about 80,000 fewer drivers compared to 2019. Last fall, the college introduced a new commercial driver license training program. Nine out of the 10 December graduates are already working. Program Director Van Staley says the triad is a good place to be a trucker. There is such a need in this area, you know, uh, Guilford County with all the industrial and, and manufacturing base, base that we have here. Um, we've got all the new distribution centers going up and uh, that's just more and more uh, transportation related jobs for the area and trucking is part of that. Staley says companies are having a hard time finding qualified drivers. He says he has more recruiters reaching out to him than he has students. Due to COVID, though, the school has had to limit the amount of students in each class. It's a wonderful industry to be in, and it's been very rewarding to me and to a lot of other people. It's not for everyone, but like I said, you can go from unemployment to $50,000 a year in eight weeks full time or 16 weeks part-time, and we'd like to help as many people in Guilford County as we can. GTCC plans to offer six full-time courses and three part-time courses this year. We'll link you to more information on our website. And if you think about it, guys, uh, truck drivers are so important to the fabric of our country, mm -hmm. especially during COVID. Uh, you know, they, they move about 71% of domestic freight. And, you know, at the beginning wow. of the pandemic, things were down. People were buying as much, but now that's picking back up. You see the trucks on the road every day, just trying to get things to you in the store, like your toilet paper. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it really is a no brainer. The jobs are there. GTCC is definitely affordable. And I think a lot of folks probably need to line up and get those classes really quickly. That's I had no idea that the demand was that strong. And we just did a story about how unemployment numbers are still historically high. So if there are jobs available in this industry and the training is available as well, I say jump on it. I cannot imagine that job. It has got to be so difficult. I mean, I have a hard time driving 10 minutes in my small <laughs> SUV to work. So to drive a massive truck like that across the country for hours at a time, um, they really do an important job. Yeah, I mean, they are essential workers. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, Absolutely. they were uh, working all during the pandemic, making sure people got essential goods. Think about now the vaccine. They're a big part of that, too, making sure vaccine shipments are getting to hospitals and, and distribution centers. Very true. All right. Well, the four to five is heading to break, but we never take a break on social media, right, guys? We would love for you to join our conversation on Facebook. Just find this live stream on WFMY News 2.